All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wawrakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters also. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay? So let's touch on the book of Hebrews chapter 6 and 10 to start this lesson off. For the power is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. So being in this ministry, this is labor. And when we teach, when we do these videos, whether we're on the streets, okay, whether we're doing different videos throughout the week, this is an act of us showing love to our people, and it's also an act of us showing that we love the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, the firstborn. Okay? For the power is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward His name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So that shows you the importance of the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. And it also shows you the importance of being in this labor, which is a labor of love, to minister to our people. All right. Those who have come into this truth and they fell out. Oh, my goodness, man. That is scary. That is scary. You got men who were once on fire. They were feeding the flock. They were real popular in Israel. You know, they get like, you know. 500 views of video, 1,000 views of video. Next thing you know, they just fall out one day. They're not even teaching no more. Okay? Well, they're not, minist they're not ministering to the saints. They're not working. They're not showing any love. So they're not going to receive a reward. They're, well, they're going to receive a reward of uh, death. All right? However it comes. Verse 11 and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. So we have to be diligent in this truth so that we can be assured that at the end of it all, we can be delivered out of the destruction that's coming. So that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai can have favor upon us. That's why we have to keep laboring. And through this labor, we show love. Okay? And that's why... The more that we show love, the more we get loved less because our people do not want to receive this word. So let's touch on the book of First Thessalonians, chapter one and verse three. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith. So we can't cease. We have to show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope. OK. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, in the sight of the power and our Father, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of the power. So how do you um, know your election? You know your election by showing the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Okay. By being in this labor of love, you are on the path of deliverance. You are, on, you are on the path of being a king, man. You are on the path of being joined together with Yahweh Shai. But we have to be in this ministry. We have to be doing the work. We can't just drop the ball and say, out oh, of hell with it. I'm tired of this. I ain't getting no views. Ain't nobody listening anyway. You know, I'm tired of catching the hell. All niggas like that, fuck you and your family, man. And that's that's real talk. Okay? And I hope it's offensive. And I hope it hurts your feelings. But for those of us in this truth who believe, man, there ain't no such thing as luck. That's all I'm going to say. We just have to hope we remain. That's what it's about, hope. Hope until the end. Hope to the full assurance through our diligence. All right. So let's go to Proverbs. And it's important that. 
Let me go here. It's important that um, we're involved in this labor of love because we're feeding our people through the word. This is uh, Proverbs 27 and verse 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds. So how are you going to be diligent knowing the state of the flock if you just decide one day you're done teaching? Or someone goes to your page, you ain't done a video in two weeks. Someone goes to your page, um, you, you making videos talking about how you think Esau can be saved. Or you making videos ranting about how fucked up your day was, but you ain't talking about no scriptures, man. All right? <laughs> you got to be taking care of the flock. You got to feed them with this word. Okay? The only way you can feed the flock is through the word. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds. So we feed each other. We are a flock to each other. We are a pastor to each other and we're flocks to each other. We're, we're like sheep to each other and we're teachers to each other. Okay? Even bringing out scriptures that we know. You hear brothers breaking down scriptures that we done read and talked about a million times and it still sounds fresh. You still can get something from it. Okay? But it's important that we know the state of our flock. If you're not keeping up with the flock, that's because you don't love the Lord. That's because you're a wimp. That's why. All right. This is John chapter 21 and verse 16. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. So this is Yahweh Shai telling Peter, Look, if you love me, feed my sheep, feed the flock. He said unto him, Actually, let's uh, read John 21 and 15. I missed the part. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto me, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest I have love for thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep. So Yahweh Shai was putting it in Peter's head like, look, you love me? Feed my sheep. Peter's like, okay, I know. No, Peter, hear me out. If you love me, feed the sheep. Okay, I get it. No, listen to me. I'm telling you right now. Look, this is what I'm telling you. If you love me, feed my sheep. And this is how important it is for us to do these lessons, man. Yahweh Shai is not playing with us. We have to feed the sheep, man. We have a job to do. All right. So we have to know the state of the flock, man. We have to um, work and show our love through our labor, being in this truth. All right. Let's go to the book of Philippians chapter two. And I'll probably. Uh, I might bring out one more. I might close it here. We'll see what happens. This is Philippians chapter two. And verse twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So even if you're in a camp, you're still seeking out your own salvation. Who knows? You may have to teach by yourself one day. Does that mean you quit? Does that mean you throw in a towel? Oh, I didn't plan for this. I didn't plan for this to be like this. I'm going back into the world. I was trying to hold a, hold a sign the whole time. I was content with just holding the sign and, and twiddling my thumbs, right? You got to work out your own salvation, man. For it is the power which worketh in you both to will and do of his good pleasure. So the good pleasure is to feed the flock, man. 
The good pleasure is to do the work without ceasing, ceasing to perform this labor of love so that the elect may be sealed. Anyone who ain't feeding the flock, okay, you go to their page and their page is dry, you know good and goddamn well they, they don't love Yahweh Shah as much as you think they might, and they don't love Yahweh Shah as much as they think they do. Loving Yahweh Shah, we're going to feed the flock. And as time goes by, we're supposed to get stronger. We're supposed to get brighter and brighter as the days become shorter and shorter. Okay? For it is the power which worketh in you, both to will and do of his good pleasure. So if the Lord is in you, you're going to perform his will of feeding the flock. Okay? Because you can't be in this truth without no works. That is a waste of time. Let's close it with this. James chapter 2 and verse 14. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? The answer is no. You cannot be saved just by saying you have faith. If you have faith, you are going to prove it by showing works because faith is going to draw you to do the work. If you're not doing the work, that's because faith is not in you. All right. Faith is going to bring out that inner that inner um, man that's in you and make it shine forth. OK, so if you ain't doing the work, if you're not feeding the flock. All right. That's because you don't love Yahweh Shai and ultimately you're not going to make it with that mentality. We're in a time we should be stepping it up. And instead of trying to figure out, well, why can't I? Be a better teacher like this brother. Do what you can do. Don't worry about what the next man is doing in terms of how. Focus on what you can do and build from that while still learning from brothers. Okay? We learn it from each other, man. The spirit is working through us. We learn from each other all day long. But if you're not doing the work, how are you going to benefit the body? How is one hand going to wash the other hand when the other hand's lazy as hell? So I'm going to go ahead and close it there. I'm going to give all thanks and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wa Rakakwadash, Shalom.